After introducing the basic concept of loss aversion, we will now have a look at several applications and experiments. Experiments where the outcomes might be explained by loss aversion. We will start with the famous Mach experiment. The Mach experiment was conducted by Kahneman, Knitsch and Thaler. And the experiment consisted of two treatments. In treatment one, you received a mug and you were asked for the lowest price you would be willing to accept for selling the mug. So they asked for your willingness to accept. The participants in the second treatment, there you see a mug and are asked for the highest price you would be willing to pay for this mug. Think a moment if you would pose different prices in treatment one and treatment two. On the upper right hand side of your screen, you should see a link to a small poll. Please participate in it and continue if you're ready. What does theory tells us about this experiment? Theory tells us that there should be no difference between the two treatments. Your willingness to accept, to sell the mug, should be the same as your willingness to pay for receiving the mug. However, what did the experimenters observe in their experiment? They observed that the median willingness to accept, so the median price sellers asked for was $5.25. In contrast to that, potential buyers only offered a price between $2.25 and $2.75. And this difference is often referred to as the endowment effect. The endowment effect means that you behave differently if you already have something and want to sell it or if you are thinking about buying it and it implies that you ask for more if you want to sell it then you would be willing to pay to get it the experiment also suggests that the reference point seems to be multi-dimensional here we have a mark domain and a money domain in the MAC domain, the potential sellers would lose the MAC and in return would gain in the money domain. In contrast to that, the potential buyers, they would gain in the MAC domain and lose in the money domain. And now, if losses loom larger than gains, you would prefer to more or less stick to the status quo, which means if you already have a mug, you're not willing to give up the mug to get some money. And if you don't have a mug, you are not willing to give up money to get a mug. And so loss aversion can rationalize the observations in the famous mug experiment.